if you have a long list of numbers to enter in a calculator and you make a boo-boo you don't have to start all over again most calculators come with a button that says letter C on it or C and CA or CA or CE I'm gonna explain about these a little bit how they can save you uh, time instead of re-entering everything in the calculator so CA stands for clear all CE stands for clear entry so this is how they work instead of a long list of numbers I'm just gonna go with how about 4 plus 5 so 4 plus 5 now at this point you realize you made a mistake instead of 5 you wanna enter 6 you wanna make it 4 plus 6 instead of getting rid of everything you can just clear the last entry, the 5, with the CE button and then you have for 4 only, the 4 plus or everything from a long list, what was entered before is still saved in the calculator and then 4 plus 6 equals 10 and this 10 also makes it to the last answer memory of the calculator and if you want to work with that 10, oh I forgot to add one more thing to it OMG what do I do on this particular model if you press CE uh, the last entry the 10 disappears from the screen but the last answer memory 10 is in it so you can press ANS answer button and then 10 plus 1 oh there we go 11 all right so, so that's how the circuitry works on this calculator it's somewhat different on this calculator so here is your 4 plus 5 at this point you want to change instead of 5 you want to enter 6 so you press this button that says DEL delete so it deletes your last entry but saves everything there so I want to enter 6 there and then press equals so now I have 10 it's also in the last answer memory but if I want to add one more to it on this one I can just go plus 1 equals uh, without pressing its last answer memory is automatic and uh, clear all on this calculator gets rid of every number including the last answer memory there so now there's nothing in it nothing on the display nothing in the last answer memory on this one if you press clear C the numbers disappear but the last answer can still be recalled from it there it's uh, that teal color or somewhat greenish so if you press that green button there and uh, and then the equal sign the last answer memory uh, shows up as ANS and if you subtract one from it so there we're back to 10 because the last answer was 11 so it's still floating in the memory if you press clear on this one okay and uh, this third one is somewhere in between the previous two so here is 4 when you press 4 all you get is a decimal dot 5 oh you want to change your mind then you can press clear but there's nothing on the display that would show you that the previous entries are preserved but if you press 6 and then equals you can see that they are saved in the memory and uh, it also has a delete button this is how it looks like it's just an arrow that's pointing uh, from right to left and uh, it's similar to the delete button here so if you have a two digit number 156 and it just deletes one digit the last one oh it's actually 155 that I want to enter same here 155 oh no I wanted to enter 156 you can do that one this one just deletes the last character on the display and you don't have these buttons this delete button on this little calculator so those are some of the options for editing and uh, fixing minor mistakes that you that you make when uh, you're entering uh, numbers and uh, symbols in your calculator so 5 plus oh I didn't want to add I want to subtract so this one gets rid of the last character 5 minus 2 so that's how you can do these things fairly straightforward